Hey guys, it's Skyrix and today we are going to make a Brazilian bass track. And in this track, we are going to use this cosmic sample pack by the producer school. This pack contains essential samples and serum presets for slap house or the so-called Brazilian bass and also can be used for deep house. It also includes some midis, vocals and project files, Reva Studio, and Ableton. If you want to check it out, use the link below and enter the code KYREX5 to get 5% discount. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and turn on notifications so you won't miss new uploads. So without further ado, let's get started. This melody came from the track Party On My Own by Alok. I tried searching for the same sounding plaque in Nexus and this is how it sounds. I also set the BPM to 121 similar to the track. But this genre usually ranges from 120 to 126. After that, I made some low cut, added some reverb, OTT, filter automation, and sidechain. Next, let's add the sub bass. For this, I made a high cut to remove unnecessary frequencies. Then, I added this ambience effect and pitched it up by two semitones to match the key of the track. Next is the reverse crash, impact, sweeps, and the clap. Now, I've added another plaque, but this one has more high pitch sound. For this one, I just made a simple low cut and a reverb. Then, a little bit of stereo widener. Next thing to do is to add some cutoff filter automation and then a reverb automation. Now I've added these tabs using this lead preset. And then some shakers, riser, build up snare, and sweeps. Next, let's add the drums.
After that, let's add the samples to fill the empty spaces. I panned it left and right to make it sound more interesting. For this one, I've added a delay effect with this preset. For the bass, I use these awesome presets. Then, this percussion to add some attack. Next, let's add some bass slides. You can make it by turning on this mono and legato in Serum. Also, I've added some swing using this quantize tool. Just click Alt plus Q and load this swing preset. Now, let's make a low cut to these bases. For the other one, I've added some stereo shaper to make it sound wider. And then, I routed it to a bus. Added some sausage fattener. Next is reverb, but we will automate it later. Next is the glue. And lastly, sidechain. Next, just copy and paste to the sub bass. And of course, let's make a high cut and turn it into mono. To make the reverse bass effect, let's automate this color kind of filter. And this time, we will now automate the reverb. Next, let's make a reverse synth with Edison. Just record the first note, add some reverb, and reverse that. To spice things up, let's add some vocals that also came from the pack. I wanna know why you were dancing on your own. I made some low cut, added some reverb, and another reverb which I automate in the end of the vocals like this. Um, um. And then I also added a side chain which only turns on when the drop starts. Um. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching guys, and now let's listen to the final result.